Hi folks, and welcome back to another edition of Let's Play God of War. I'm gonna just check out and see how much we've got for skills now. <sighs> Alright. Barehanded invading. Oh, uh, nah. Press R1 after a last second block. That might be useful. Uh, I don't really do that in Spartan Rage very much. Alright, I do want to increase that. Let's see what else we got here. Of course, I'm probably not going to be able to afford any of this now. Hold that for Brutal Cleave. Eh, let's do it. Alright. So now we're going to pick this up and toss it. I guess that was holding someone back. Oh, shit, kid. Wind him. Oh, shit. Nice job, kid. Um, Father? bigger one? No, okay, just more of these guys. And him? Yes, and him. Ready yourself. Angry gorilla. All right, let's get rid of these guys first. I think. down there. Ow! Oh. Alright. No, oh, oh, don't walk onto him. Walk onto him. Well, that didn't really work out nearly as much as I wanted. Enchantment that increases strength and runic by three. Pretty nice. And frozen flame. A temper used to upgrade the Leviathan axe. Nice. Nice. We deserve it after that. I didn't actually take that much damage. I am proud of myself for that one. Considering how awful I've been with aiming and everything in the last couple episodes. Um, speaking of... I don't see any birds. Alright. Oh, these doors somehow closed after opening. Interesting. Mountain base. Whoa. I can see why mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Because she was a pain in the ass. Alright. Boom, boom. Alright. 
Wonder if Sinji knows his sky mover is tangled with roots up here. I doubt it. How is he going to get it to work? I do not care. didn't work all right interesting we'll probably have to go talk to him at some point okay we came out that door all right let me check something here charge the white bar okay those are both frost and that's frost let me try Is it still charging? Probably. Okay, now let's try this. Alright. Okay, I didn't squat. Alright, well, I guess that was worth a shot, maybe. Possibly. Is that smoke? That's really creepy. But I kinda like it too. Well. This looks ominous. Uh, kid, stay, stay back. back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch. Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the black breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy, saving my friend, if you remember. How is Poopa? The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. <laughs> Just gotta keep Where bringing that back up. To a realm beyond your own. Narnia? Ooh, Ooh that's a lot of XP. Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. Ah. Had my timer completely messed up on that. I thought it said 29, it only had said 9. Alright. Crazy lady, where are you Oh, could she burn these? We'll use this. Graythaw. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Interesting. Just give that okay. a turn. There. Ah, cool. Tears Temple is at the center of the lake. 
It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Hmm. Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. Hmm. You know, we actually talked to the world serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages. Even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Hmm. All right, I think I can hit it from here, maybe. Yep, all right. Look at me being resourceful. You're just like a dwarf. Come on. Hopefully something good in here. Another chest up here that we missed. Let's see if I can find it real quick. It's locked. Interesting. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be over here yet. Now let's go back over here. All right. Do do do. So he's gone, huh? How did he go? Same as no, that's different. I don't remember what the symbols were up there. This one may think a different one too. Okay, so I just have backwards B. Backwards B. to stay there. Backwards B. Alright, I think that was it. Yes, indeed. We figured it out. Alright, we got another horn. So now we got two or three of those. Just need one more. Nice. Alright, not that way. Go around. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back to talk. 
Mercy? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Piosa! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, nice. it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. The tongue of Niflheim, a foul place of ice and mists, and dwarven mischief. Hmm. Is there a way to get her to do that? There's one up there, too. Alright. Guess we'll figure that out at some point. All right, all right, step aside. I guess I'm doing the heavy lifting here. Tyr's temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. It doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a place. Alright. Alright, is this a cutscene? I can't run. She doesn't want to blow the horn either. Okay. Oh, that's right. There was one in there, wasn't there? Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. I did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Oh, that one over there. Okay, I was like, what? Now push it back into place. <laughs> Along the track. <laughs> what? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the death, huh. we heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls, denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Did Vanir magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. <laughs> That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. Okay, nothing over there I can get. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build here stuff? All the races helped with its construction. 
It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Interesting. Is there something at the end of this? Doesn't really look like it. Alright. I'll talk to you. Actually, before I do that, increase strength and rune by three. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, those don't have sockets. I don't think I did anything for sockets on any of these. Does he have anything for sockets? Okay, apparently I can't go to him right now. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Landing precision. Weak points and headshots. Press X and flash. Do explode on contact, causing frost damage. Charge up the cousin. I really likes his frost damage. Inflict frost damage on every hit. While evading, hold L forward and R to form a quick attack. Uh, Spartan rage. Spartan rage. I don't do barehanded stuff very often. for now. Is there a buddy here? Hey, Brock. Brock Lesnar. Where's your Pokemon, Brock? Leosa. Your bowstring stopped going. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of Alfheim, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. Talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Huh. Alright. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Is my axe the way up? Realm travel room. Kind of spoopy. Not how it's spooky. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the great world tree and make travel between the realms possible. Huh. Okay. How does it work? You will need this. A Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. 
These doors, the towers outside, and the nine realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our souls. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different huh. realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. All right, we're I guess ready. Let's go. Remember to take the bypass. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of oh, the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the huh. tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Oh. Wow, another ton of XP. Oh, the bridge realigned. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black record? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. And now we got a thing that we can go back and forth between, uh... Brock shop. We can, because we're trapped in here right now until we get the bit frost stuff. Hymy thingy. Oh, actually we're back where we were. Never mind. Alright guys, well, thanks for tuning in for this episode of God of War. If you like the episode, you know, throw a like, subscribe, leave a comment. And we'll see you guys next time.